really want to help our listeners and our viewers to win today. Success is a journey, mm. not a destination. It's very important to understand yourself first. You know, what if I fail? What what if they don't like me? What what if, what if, what if? That what if is what's holding you back for succeeding and winning the day. Have a winning attitude. attitude. I love you. <laughs> I'm actually addicted. <laughs> and I love that addiction. It's a good addiction. It's a good addiction. <laughs> Yo, it's your boy, LJ Chaplin, with Lady Season. Bringing to you Chillin' with the Chaplains, where we deep dive, giving you practical concepts in ministry, business, relationship, and personal development. So, we can take control of our life. Let's go, and let's get it started. What's good? It's your boy, LJ. Now, I'm with the one and only, my lovely wife, Lady Caesar. And I would like for my wife to um, let us know what we are talking about today. And so, honey, what we talking about today? Winning the days. Yes, winning the day. Yes. Wouldn't it just be a beautiful world that we will live in when everybody's winning mm, yes like i think that's how this topic came about like if people would be working towards winning their own day and individually and trying to help other people win the day i think everybody's dreams and goals would be achieved don't you think so yes i think people won't be feeling like failures or not achieving what they you know anticipate to do if everybody was trying to go to 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 get ahead or to to win that day i don't know uh, maybe i'm reading too much into this but we really want to help our listeners and our viewers to win today yes. and not, not overthink things because i think we tend to just live in the past mm. or live in the too far in the future right right so i think today matters more than yes tomorrow tomorrow yeah although tomorrow is important but let's win today let's get today out of the way the best way we can yes it's about living in the moment right at that in your present moment um i, I like this because um zig, zig ziglar say um Success is a journey, mm. not a destination. Absolutely. You know, success is a journey, not a destination. And so how can we have success while we on our journey? Mm. You know, and one way to have success while we on that journey or whatever you want to accomplish in achieving your goals is start by winning the day. Absolutely. Start by living in the moment. Mm. And, and doing the best you can for that day. You know, yes, planning is great, but one step at a time. One step at a time. One, ste one foot in front of the other. Yes. So we're going to be just talking about a few things on how you can actually win your day, how to make your day great. Um, Accessional. And, right. <laughs> yes. So I hope you learn something from this because we felt like, you know, before you, you even plan the rest of your year, plan the quarter plan the week how about just getting the the day right yes you know how about getting that day right so yeah and, and just like you know it was critical when we came up with these topics it was critical that we that we talk about goals we talk about when of the day in the first week because you know the first of the year is a lot of time this when we you know we set ambitious goals mm -hmm. and we set um, resolution that's that we that we don't keep and we said no more resolutions <laughs> but be making goals that have a time frame yes that are measurable because this resolution nonsense I don't think it's working for anyone because come the seventh or oh, seventh is gone <laughs> come month end everybody is throwing their resolution out of the window so rather it's the goals 
Yes, and I, I feel like these episodes that we've done back to back, I think it, it's, it's like tied in to one another. Absolutely. Um, and so th that's why, you know, when I when we came up with this um, topic, this episode, we like, why not help people to start winning the day? Because our goal is to help individuals to have success and, and give you strategies and tips on how to achieve your goals and how to take advantage of the day that you that you might be in right now that the moment uh, that you're in right now so yeah so um what well, let's go into what we want to discuss yeah let's jump into our first point getting acquainted with yourself first so that you understand how to operate as at your best self because when you don't know who you are first mm -hmm. of all and what you want and possibly how to get it you would never be able to get ahead. Uh -huh. You know, you'd never be able to achieve your the goal. So it's very important to understand yourself first. Yes, it, it, it's very important to understand yourself. But and I would like to add as well. You know, because we all, um, we all is at our best at different times mm -hmm. of the days. Some people is morning people. Mm -hmm. Some people at their best in the midday and some is the night hours like us <laughs> like us so understanding isn't it funny that we're both night hours and we're not morning people <laughs> but we try to change that i think it works it works well for us but yeah we're yeah. trying to change it but whoo, mornings are hard <laughs> <laughs> yes but understanding when you at your best so that you can do all the things um or Things that are challenging, things that that need more of your time, um, so that you can work on your goals and your dreams, and you know every everything about you. You can work on that time at your best self because that's when you're at your best. That's when you're gonna. Mm -hmm. that's, that's when you're gonna create the best. That's when you're gonna come up with better ideas. That's when you're gonna come up with better strategies because you're at your best self. You know that's why you know sometimes some, a lot of writers and. And and our and 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 artists, they work at nighttime. They could do overnight and with no problem because that's at their bell self and they sleep during the day. So it's about understanding when you function the best. Yes. When you're at your optimum best. Yes. And just taking the time, blocking out all the distractions, and just dig in and achieve those goals. And achieve those goals. And then when you when 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 you're not at your best self, best best self. You know, then you go do all the things that you would like to, you know, talk on the phone with your mother and your friend or watch TV because now you're at, you, you wind down. You're not at your best. So don't, this is when we want to dedicate time, um, the right time for the right things. Right. And you dedicate the right things at your best self. Yeah. Don't be doing, don't dedicate the wrong things when you're at your best because mm. that's when you should be creating. Just like how people say, like, first thing in the morning, some people waste time on checking emails and stuff. And that's time wasted. That should be at your red time, not your yes. green time. Exactly, yes. Yeah, green we're... time is where you're most, you're at your most peak. I mean, like, first thing in the morning, your, 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 your mind is fresh. Yes. You, you've got the energy. You've just had, a, hopefully, a good night's sleep. <laughs> and you, you're ready to get the day going. Yeah. So your emails could end, or they could be during lunchtime when yes, you're yes. slowing it down. Yes, and not just emails, social media. Check in social media. You know, when you don't, you know, when you're at your best, that's not the time that you should be, like, checking and see what people are saying. Because we know social media can be addictive. And so, you know, you want to be at your best. Now, we get it. If you at your best self and you at while you're working, then you got to learn how to um, do what you can. Somebody would ask, what, what if um, my, my part of my work day is to be on social media? Then what do I do? Do I just ignore it? If that's your, if, if that's your job, well, well if that's when you have your curriculum. Because some people do all creatives. And that's when they work um, during that time. So they... But if you work on social media and you and that's your job, 
and that's your best day in the morning. Yeah, that's the, you got to be on social media because you need to create content. You need to create certain days. I think you just have to know your limits as well. Yes. Yeah. Mm, good point. Yes, no, good. Like, even if it's your job, sometimes, you know, you can't stop the notification from jumping up on you. Just be able to just block out and focus on what you're trying to achieve. And also black out telephone calls mm. and, and black out t uh, TV. But another thing uh, um, I, I would say too, if you want, if you don't know yourself and you want to know, know yourself even better, um, I would say take the di assessment. Mm. Do the this so that you understand yourself a lot better and your personalities and when you're at your best. And, you know, so, you know, we do offer on um, the disassessment, so you you want to take the assessment to know yourself. You know the the um, the link will be in the description, so that you can take the disc and begin to understand who you are a lot better. Understand your strengths and your because weaknesses. It's important. It's yeah. very important because we want to be at our optimal self yeah. when we at our best self. Absolutely. And so yeah, so to do that, definitely I will advise you. To take to take the assessment, take the disassessment, so that you can understand yourself. Because we have to to win the day. We got to know ourselves first. Yeah. You know, we we got to know. You know, with our personal life, with our business life, we have to know who we are, so that we able to work. And that helps in 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 identifying your strengths and weaknesses as mm -hmm. well. Because if you don't know who you are and what you're capable of then you will probably focus on your weaknesses and overlook your strengths, which can actually get you to your goal much faster. Yes, I agree. Yes, yes. And so that's why we say knowing yourself, take the disassessment so that you gave it to know yourself as well. And so, yeah, the, 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 the next point we want to talk about is challenge yourself. Mm. Challenge yourself. So what you, what you think about challenging yourself? I and how, how, how do you challenge yourself? For me, it's doing something that I don't want to do that day. Like there's so many things that I'm doing that I really would rather not do, but I do them because they have to be done. And um, like right now I'm learning a, a very high skill, a new high skill. Mm -hmm. And that's not easy, but guess what? I could get somebody to do the stuff that I'm doing for me, but I choose not to because I want to learn the skill. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you um, delegate too much, you end up not learning. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes, get some support, but don't over delegate because mm -hmm. now you'll end up not learning. Um, so just challenge yourself in doing things that you would rather not do so that you learn, you extend the learning curve and um, you become a better person in the, in the process. So I'm doing things that I'm not so comfortable with, basically. Yeah, because I, I, I would say, you know, every day, you know, challenge yourself to be a better person every day. To do one thing that you didn't know before. To yeah. do one thing that's different. To do one thing better the next day. And, and the, that's why and that I think day. it's important to be part of communities. Yes. Like, you know, uh, the next opportunity window or you know, be part of master classes or just things that will open up your mind to another level. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because that's what's going to stretch you. And I mean, listen, when you do something that you are not so comfortable in doing but needs to be done, it, 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 I think it stretches your brain to a certain extent, mm -hmm. you know, because we use like 5% of our brains. Yes. That's the honest truth. Uh -huh. The average person uses very... Little. little of their brain and the brain what is like come on get me working get me do, do think you know and that's why i like a uh, waddle that, that yeah the that word game. game yeah because it's getting people to think at least they're doing something in stretching their brains yes because what happens is and when we don't use our brain we become robots Things become a habit all the time mm -hmm. when you're on challenge when because your brain, is, you, you know, yeah, it becomes on autopilot. And so, you know, when you challenge yourself, you put you 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 allowing your brain to go to work for you, you to stress you to to become more um creative mm -hmm. for you to accomplish that goals. 
so that you know and, and and so it's very important to challenge ourselves each day mm -hmm. you know we might not like it <laughs> because like of but course challenging yourself is not the best mm -hmm. you know um in most cases it, it, it's it's gonna be uncomfortable mm -hmm. because you're doing something uh um you know that's that's not you're comfortable in that's against the norm if i could put it that way but in order for to grow do it anyways. Yeah, and, and when you challenge yourself, it will be um, more rewarding. Mm -hmm. Especially when, once you achieve it and you challenge yourself and you grow from that challenge, mm -hmm. you feel more motivated to, to, to go the next day and do something else. That What's that more. one thing that you're doing to challenge yourself? One thing to challenge myself right now, I would say to become a better communicator. Mm -hmm. To become a better communicator, to be able to explain myself a lot better. That's one challenge that I'm doing to, um, uh, that one challenge that I'm doing right now to be better at mm -hmm. is to become a better communicator. And it takes works and through this podcast and through the webinars and the different things that I offer, you know, this is how I'm challenging myself to become a better communicator, to be able to explain myself and explain the vision, explain the mission, explain um, what I'm doing a lot better, making it clear, making it clear. Mm -hmm. So we say challenge yourself um, each day to do one thing better, to do one Even thing Even if better. it's like if you're not a morning person, try to get up early that day, you know, and, and do some of the things that successful people would ordinarily do in the morning, mm -hmm. like reading, like, like reading. exercising, yeah. like meditation, yeah. like scripting. You name it. Yeah, because and that's a good point that you said because a, a lot of times a lot of us don't like reading. So if you're not, if you're a person that don't like reading, challenge yourself that you know what I'm gonna read ten pages a day. My ten ten, if you're slow reader, might be a lot. I say four or five. Four or five. Read but four, something. whatever. But read something. Challenge yourself to read um that day. Take time out. Say you know what I'm I'm gonna read this book. Remember when you know yourself. Don't read private doing your optimal stuff when you got your best stuff because you want to create. But make sure during the day, you know, you take that, you challenge yourself. You know what? I want to be better. And you choose a book that you want to read when you want to grow in. And you read. You read four or five pages. Yeah. Yeah. And so. And, uh, and so our next point would be getting out of your comfort zone. Mm. Ooh. They say that they say there's no growth in the comfort zone. Mm, yes, stress yourself. <laughs> stress yourself to the limits. So, how do you do that on a daily basis, though? How do you get yourself out of a com get be in an uncomfortable position? Because when you get out of a comfort zone, you're being in an uncomfortable position on a daily basis. Well, I would say don't be afraid to do something new every day. Don't be afraid. So strive to do something. Yeah, something new, something different. You know, because like I said, we, when we're talking about the brain, we so get in the habit of doing the same thing every day. And you know, we, we like um, mice. <laughs> yeah. They, they know that hole. Yeah, they know that hole. You know, um, no, it's the rat, they say. Yeah. Mice and rats, yes. Yeah, uh, the rat race. They, they will go same. Same hole. They know same. exactly where to go. Direction, yeah. back and forth. So change that a bit. Yeah, change it up. Confu change. Confuse the devil. Yeah, confuse the devil. Even like you know, going to work, go go a different direction. Don't be afraid to do something new on um, every day. This is how we win the day. This, yeah. you know, because we don't want to be that robot and and not using our brain. Mm -hmm. because, so don't be afraid because sometimes we are afraid to try days. Mm -hmm. We're we're afraid to do what something. What if I fail? But what if you don't fail? And that's a good, that's a good one. Why what if you, you don't? Yeah. And, and that's that one if this imposter syndrome, mm -hmm. you know, what if I fail? What, what if they don't like me? What, what if, what if, what if? That what if is what's holding you back for succeeding and winning the day. That what if, that what if hold me back for a very long time of jumping, of, of, of stepping out on, on faith and, and, and doing what I'm doing today. Because that what if of, what if I don't get the support? Mm -hmm. what, what if I get judged? What if I get judged? So, what about somebody? So what if you do? Like like I said before, we're looking for us. 
You know, we looking for the people that 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 want to work with us, that want to support us, that want to you know relate. that that like us, that that relate. And, and so you know, when of the day is don't be afraid to come out of your comfort zone, mm. get uncomfortable. Because that's where the magic happens. That's where the magic hat. Get uncomfortable to get comfortable. Absolutely. <laughs> get and, uncomfortable and, and, to and get comfortable. Famous, and then once you get comfortable, you get uncomfortable again. Right. And there's a famous quote that says, um, I forgot what it says. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, being I, I, being uncomfortable, that's that's where the growth is. Yes, so, yes. Something along those lines. <laughs> I'm not feeling that great, guys, today. I'm sure you can see that, so just bear with me. You yes. know, the show has to go on even though you're not feeling well. Yes, yes, yes. So, you know, so we say get out of your comfort zone. Do do something that somebody else don't want to do. You know, it, like we always discuss, if it was easy, everyone would do it. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes for you to have success, you got to be willing to do things that other people are not willing to do. Absolutely. You know, even when you don't even want to do it sometimes, but you got to be willing to do it. Mm. Yeah. And so, I think that ties in nicely with our next topic, our next um, topic, where um, it's saying have a winning attitude. attitude. Mm. So even when you're doing something that takes you out of your comfort zone, mm -hmm. just go in, you know, seeing the glass half full than half empty. Mm -hmm. You know, because most people are like, um, this is too hard. You're already defeated before you even start. Mm. So go in knowing that you're going to make this happen. You're going to win no matter what. Even if it means you go out there and look for help, but you're going to win. win. You're going to make it. It's going to be a success. If you go in with that mindset saying that whatever that I touch turns into gold, guess what? It will because... We are creators. We are co-creators. And what, what our mouth says becomes. So if you're going in thinking, ah, it might not work, then guess what? It will not work. It will not work. You know, you got to have that can-do attitude, mm. that can-do spirit, that, you know, a person that have a, that, that growth mindset. So, mm. you know, that, that come up against challenges, that come up against um, uh, obstacles, you know, a, a person with a, a a person with a fixed mindset would say, you know what, I guess it's not for me. Mm. Uh, or you know what, I guess you know I'm not, I wasn't smart enough in that area. Mm. So why try? Why why keep going? Mm. But no, we say have a can-do attitude. Be resilient. Be, be resilient. You know, say you know what, okay, you know what, I'm gonna get this. Mm. <laughs> this would not get the best of me. You know, I like what my wife said. Oh. Um, and I just, I, I always said, what did Gogo -Go say? If it doesn't talk, it cannot be. It cannot be. That's one of my favorite, I mean, these, these older people, I mean, they got some wisdom. Because, you know, that is, that's like that can-do attitude of saying, okay, when you come up with the challenges that you, that, 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 that made me get the best of you, you got to learn to say, okay, if it don't talk, it can't beat me. Yeah. You know, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to, I'm going to find a way. If, if, even if I had to get help, but I'm going to figure this out. Yeah. Even if I had to work on this thing uh, until I figure it out, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up. So in other way, words, keep going. Keep even, going. Even when the tough gets going. Get going. Yes. Keep going. Even when you have that can do attitude. Don't give up too soon. Yes. Or too easily. Mm. Just keep on keeping on. Yes. Because eventually, if you keep going, you keep pursuing, you will get to the end. Mm. You will get to the end. You will figure it out. If you faint not. Yes, if you faint not. And and another thing, this is why we, my wife, especially my wife, big on affirmations. I love them. <laughs> I'm actually addicted to affirmations. And I love that addiction. It's a good addiction. It's a good addiction. Yeah. You know, because that's like that kept, like you, you're saying these affirmations because if you say it long enough, you begin to start no. to believe it. Listen. <laughs> you begin to believe it. And it's the best way to trick the subconscious. Yes. Because it's the most stubborn thing or person ever. But they, that's the most important thing ever. Mm -hmm. Once you get your subconscious mind to, to agree, start believing it, yeah. To, to start agree agreeing. with your conscious mm -hmm. or to agree with your 3D world, uh -huh. then guess what? Things will just start happening. happening. And you'll be like, because one thing that I'm trying, this is the one thing that I, that 
I should have mentioned that I'm trying to uh, to do on a daily basis okay. that is out of my comfort zone is visualizing. Okay. God damn, it's so hard. <laughs> I mean, for one person who used to say, I'm a dreamer, now that I have to actually do it every morning, every evening, whoo, it's, 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 it's really thrashing my butt. But guess what? I'll be persistent until I win at it. Yes. You know, uh, it's not easy to visualize. Manifesting. <laughs> manifesting, we do it every day. Yes. Knowingly and unknowingly. So mm -hmm. I know that I'm manifesting even as I'm sitting down. Yes. But manifesting consciously, consciously the right things is what we have to practice. Yes. But not just that, visualizing what you want to see manifest Fasting. is even more, more important. And that's how you manifest faster by visualizing what you, the, your desired goal, yes. your end goal. Yes. Because a lot of times, even like a lot of people always quote in scripture, but a lot of times the, script, the scriptures don't come alive. And the reason why the scripture never come alive for certain individuals is because we don't visualize. It's because we can't really see it really happening for us. Because it, it, scripture for many people has become like a poem. You know, people don't even believe it. Mm -hmm. It's like something that is being said, so let me say it, but I don't really believe it. You know, that's why... God even had to include it in the word that let's, let's not be hearers of the word, Other but words. be doers of the word. Mm. You know, there's no point in, in hearing and not doing. Mm. That's why he said faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And then once you've heard it, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. So, yeah, because I want to I wanna say this because it's, it's very important. We're talking about visualizing mm -hmm. um, because one of the scriptures say, um, in the third verse, yeah, to look it up. yes, I did. <laughs> I want to, I want to get it. I want to get it verbatim. I, I don't want to paraphrase because this is this scripture is so powerful. Mm -hmm. So it said, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that with things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So we understand through faith we understand that the worlds were framed. By the word of God. The world was framed. Your world is framed by the words you speak. By you speaking because the right words. Because we are co-creative. Yes. I say it all the time. By you and visualizing. And once you get that. Then you can frame your because, world. And then you, you can, can start winning. You can start winning. Mm -hmm. You can start framing your world. The world that you want to see. You know, you want good relationships. You want a good marriage. You want uh, healthy children, whatever, whatever it, is. it is. You want to, you want to have successful business. You have the power to frame your world, but you got to begin to speak the right but words. Others will say it's easier said than done. <laughs> I mean, this, God yeah. knows that I want those things. Yeah, but He gave us that dominion over on Earth as well yes. to be able to speak things and see them come to pass. Exactly. So we're saying you got to have a can-do attitude. Uh, you got to have a winning attitude, a can-do spirit. And begin to see um, how you want your world to be. When the day, whatever you want to achieve for that day, have it say, I can't do he has, it. He has a reality check. Yes, go ahead. If you look around and you don't like what you see, mm. guess what? You made that happen. Yeah. How? <laughs> Come on, Caesar. How did I make it happen? I right, well. You did it. Because you are a co-creator. Yes. And I'm sorry to say this to you. Because when I got to learn that, I was like, oh, damn. Do you mean I created what I have? <laughs> yes, we yes. always create it. Yes, we always create Consciously created. and unconsciously. So let's be positive creators. Let's be good creators. Let's create better lives for ourselves. Yes, create better lives. For ourselves, it's important to mm. to do that, um, to win the day, create better lives for ourselves. But while we're doing that, as we go to our fifth point, yes. we said, even, yes. even yes. though you are trying all these points that we've already raised above, mm -hmm. give yourself grace. Yes, give yourself grace. Because this is the problem. We get too hard on ourselves. Yes, just we like beat how, ourselves up. Listen, I'm been beating <laughs> myself up trying to do this visualization. <laughs> And I'm like, how can I not get it? Because I'm, I'm always...
always saying, I'm a dreamer, I'm a manifester, but I just cannot visualize money getting into my bank account. That is so easy. No. Because <laughs> they say when you visualize it, it, it has to be actually happening in your mind as if it's really happening in the third world. I mean, in the 3D world, in, 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 in reality. So now with going through this, I realize that maybe I'm just being too hard on myself. Maybe if I just take it a little easier, it will come when it comes. Mm -hmm. But keep on exercising it, it and keep on yeah. practicing until I get it. Yes. And if I don't get it today, it's okay. Tomorrow is Tomorrow another day. Tomorrow is another day. Come on, we win it today. Right. You win, if you, and like I said, you, got, you might make mistakes. That's why you give yourself grace. We're not perfect. Far from it. We're human. You know, even... You know how we're not perfect. Even God said, "You know what? Because you're not perfect, I got to send my son Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you ain't gonna, you, you you're gonna you're gonna mess up. You're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna sin. You're gonna so you know what? I got to send a savior mm -hmm. who would be perfect in the world, who can redeem man. So in other words, <laughs> loosen, loosen, the grip. Just yes. a little bit. Yes. Don't be so hard on yourself because you know Don't we, be so judgmental. Yeah, we are our worst critics. Yes, and other people critics. <laughs> you know, we are our, our worst, worst critics. critics. Yes, we criticize other people, but not as much as we criticize, we criticize ourselves. ourselves. Yes, that's what yeah. You know, so just once in a while, once you've done something worth achieving, I mean that's that you have achieved, worth celebrating, applaud yourself. Applaud yourself. The the little things that you do. Give yourself a pat on the back. Mm -hmm. You know, like, well done, Cesar. You woke up early this morning and you did your affirmations. Whoa! Wow, well, well, well done. You read your Bible. Okay, go. We're getting somewhere. Well done. You you, you know, you, you, you cooked for your family. You know, the, the little things that we often take for granted, it's about time that we applaud ourselves. Yes. Yes. Just like, you know, this this when that thing, repentance, change of mind come. Like, even so, when we make a mistake, we miss the mark, we mess up. Like, okay, recognize it. Okay, it can happen. Mm -hmm. And you give yourself some grace and say, you know what? I could get better. Mm -hmm. I could do better. And, and, and apologize. And the only righteous person was Jesus. <laughs> yes, the only righteous Trust person. Trust and believe that. <laughs> yes, so give yourself grace. Um, to make mistakes because you will make mistakes. Mm. You will make a mistake. But and I think about, mistakes are part of, of, of the growth process. Of growing, yes. The yeah. process is a part because like we Can said before. Can you imagine if everybody was perfect? What a boring world. <laughs> I agree. What a boring world. It will be boring. <laughs> it's just nice sometimes just to be clumsy and just do things the wrong way and then you have to start all over. It's not all over. It's part of life. It's, it's part, part of, of life. It's part of the learning and growth process. Yes, but we win in the day, and this is how one day at, one a, time. Day at a time, you know, because it went by one in the day, we're going to give ourselves grace to 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 have setbacks, to make mistakes because it will Just happen. Start over. But start over and get Tell back yourself, up. okay, if I didn't achieve it today, tomorrow I'll is another day. Tomorrow. Because, uh, and, uh, and another thing, too, sometimes, you know, when we we talk about winning the day, because sometimes we're trying to do too much, and just like okay, you know what? That's it. Take it easy. Take it easy, and like you know what, I'll do the rest tomorrow. And then when you're <laughs> trying to do too much, you end up juggling so many yes. things, and you end up doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. Because as they say, there is no master of everything. Every day. <laughs> I, that's my biggest challenge. I think I'm the master of everything, but I know that there are things that get messed up. Jack of all trades. <laughs> and become the master. That's what I think, but there is no jack of all trades. No. Because something will be un imbalanced. Um, unbalanced. Maybe an imbalance somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Now, you can't be a master of different things, but you only can be a master of the different things one at a time. Mm, that you makes sense. <laughs> So I can be a master. You can't be a master of all things. Yes, so I, I, I just want to get that's what I But one at a time. Yeah, you folk me be a master of. But that I don't thing. know how true that is for women, to be honest. Because, I mean, you find me, I'm cooking. I'm well, we know women is into. They are very creative. They are very resourceful. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, they really have intuition, all the different things that God created. So we know women could do multiple things at one time, but that don't mean you're a master. <laughs> you, you, it's, 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 it don't mean you're a master of all things at at that particular time. You could be a master at it, but doing everything because you, one of the things is gonna it's gonna take it's really gonna take your full attention. Only one to have your full of undivided attention. The rest of it, you're just doing it just to be doing it. But only one. You're so used to doing it. Yes, you're so used. This is the robot thing. Only. Yeah. But God did um, create women with orders. You know, women is the only <laughs> women. Women so created so a, a woman can have five computer windows open and still know where they're at. And the man had to work on one day at a time. <laughs> so you guys' brain is. Logic. Section. Section. Whereas I, I was as yeah, up. You can have five to seven windows open at one time, but the man, one window, he working on one window at a time, but a woman can work on all five windows at the same time. You work on this window, then you jump to this window. <laughs> and our next point is build your expertise. Upon your expertise. Yeah. Improve yourself every day. And invest in yourself. I think that's very important. Yes. And And, I just said that too. And I think that's where most people drop the ball. Yes, that's where most people... Because people people feel like, I don't want to pay for that. Guess what? If it's for free, it's not really it in most cases. So you got to put in some meat. They say put some meat... Skin in the game. Skin in the game. Why did I say meat? (laughs) (laughs) Meat and skin is the same thing, right? Put some skin in the game. game. Because if there's you it's what my 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 um my affirmation, one mm-hmm. of them, yes. my favorite one lately. Yes. It ends with with mutual benefit. Benefits. And mutual benefit means something for something. Mm-hmm. That's how the universe works. If you want to be a scammer, if you want to be a thief, then it's going to come back and bite you. Mm-hmm. Because there's, you're getting something for nothing. Mm-hmm. Or you're getting something over people's tears. Mm-hmm. You know, So mutual benefit meaning do something that is going to help someone benefit. Mm-hmm. It could be a company, it could be an individual, it could be solving a problem. But it must be of mutual benefit. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so, you know, investing in yourself, make the investment, build upon your expertise to so grow, to get better. that's mutual benefit yes. because you're investing in you. you you paying for a, a, a cause. Yes. And guess what? You're expanding your knowledge, knowledge and expertise. Yes. Um, not just a course, but training, mm-hmm. masterminds, mm-hmm. books. Mm-hmm. That you can read. Or, or listen to. Or listen to. If you don't have time to sit down. And another one that is free. YouTube University. Yeah. I think that's the best actually. YouTube University. It's not the best. But you can learn. But you can get so much out of it. Yes. That's what I'm saying. You could. You could. You could. And, and here's the thing. Whatever you want. It's wanna, just that it's all over the place. It's all over the place. Must, exactly. You, you must and, know how to search for the information. It would, it would just take longer to find the answer mm. because people, different people, give you different things. So you get, a, you get a, a little blue a blueprint. Print. Yes, a blueprint that you're able to get the information and you have to do it. And then it's like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's give you steps on how to do everything. You know, but you, and the reason why I say YouTube University because whatever you want to build upon, you go down that rabbit hole. Yeah. And you listen to everything that you that you need to listen to. If it's finance. Um, real estate, whatever it is, growing the business, you go down that rabbit hole and you listen to everything about business on YouTube University. And you, a lot of times you will find uh, most of the answers. You won't find, because, and, you know, they always leave out one, course, one, one or two have, things that, that you're going to need, that you're gonna, that's very important to your business, that you're going to need. Because, you know, eventually that you, like, okay, you have to go the extra step to get the course because that one piece, you, you, because, you it's I mean, very... Because, I have to live as well. Yeah. I mean, if it's their expertise, they got to get something for something. Mm-hmm. You know, it's their mutual benefit. So, but if they, at least they've given you a start. A start, yes. And, and, that, and, that's, and that's a good... Because a lot of times, some people don't have the money 
to pay for the course right away. And this is what this is when you want to go down that rabbit hole of knowing, getting all the inf get majority of the inf information to get you started. Mm -hmm. You know, so that you can start making money. And then once you start making money, you know, if you got a, a, a conscience or heart, then you're like, you know what? I, now I want to go further. I want to scale my business mm -hmm. even more. And this when you pay for that course. This when you pay for that master to get into that. Uh, that high level mastermind. This when you pay for on uh, different trainings and 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 uh, coaches and mentor because you want to scale your business. You you got it. You YouTube got you where you need to go, and now you want to scale further. You know. So and and this when you pay for that course and that training. But yeah, we say um um go down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Um, invest in yourself with the different things. Cause you know you can you, if you got time. Go ahead and do it, but me, I'm the type of person I want to. I need it. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of philosophy, and so I, I, me, I don't mind investing in myself and spending the money that I need. We all shouldn't the, mind yeah. because it's, 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 it's important to invest in yourself, and that's why most. Um, I don't have because I don't have time to be going down the rabbit hole looking for. Because uh, uh, I want to when I, when you build, you want to build right. You know, and so this is why I don't, I mean, I, right now, I'm like, you know what, I did that, done that. I went through the rabbit hole, searching for all these different things, and it was a lot of time consuming. And so I'm like, yo, let me just pay for the course, pay for the class, pay for the training, pay for these different things that I need so that it and like makes... you said, not everybody makes, has the finances. Yes, and that's when you go down that rabbit hole and do what you got to do. And read books on everything about it. You go down the rabbit hole, even with books. You listen. You get all the books you can on that particular topic. If it's mental health, if it's relationship, whatever, you get all the books that you can get. And even books is a course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can, unless you go to the library. Oh yeah, you can go to the library mm -hmm. and get it for free. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, but you get all the books you can, and you and you and you. Build upon your expertise. We talk about winning the day. We talk about growing, mm -hmm. becoming better versions of ourselves. And this is how we get better. This is how we become more creative and get more ideas. Is by building upon what we know already. Build upon our Make strengths. Make use of the resources yes, that's available. That's available. Mm -hmm. Especially now with technology. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the days, they didn't have the technology that we have today. Mm -hmm. So you can't be and watch. On YouTube, back and you know, back then you were forced. You were forced to read a book back then, mm -hmm. or you were forced to pay for a coach or a mentor, yeah. um, like ten years ago. But now, because of technology, you can you can go to YouTube and and um, besides reading a book and just go down that rabbit hole. So yeah, build upon your expertise. Be willing to make an investment in yourself. You know, uh, yeah, it's very important. And. And it goes with the mutual benefits. So goes right along to our next point. Which is helping others. Practice, practice helping, helping others. others. Yes. Um, because, I don't know how to put this. When you help others, you're kind of helping yourself as mm -hmm. well, right? Yeah, just like I said the best. Mm. Help more people get what they want and you will get what you want. Love it. Yes. And things just come easier as well yes. um, when you're helping other people because you're attracting that energy as well. Because guess what? It's karma. It's when karma. you help people, they'll help you. They help you, especially when you're doing it with a genuine heart genuine and you're heart. being authentic. Yes. Yeah. Just practice doing it. Just practice being a better person every day. Every day. Every day. What is find out how can I be a blessing to someone? Yeah. Find out how can I help your 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 earring boy. <laughs> My earrings, there's something, I mean, there's something about my earrings, thank you. Like, this one is a hook earring. Why would it come out? Don't ask me, but it's going back right in my ear today. I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> but yeah, learning to help others. And, and, and another quote I want to bring up because, and we're and, and we going to be discussing it even further um, during the mastermind that we are starting on Saturday. Um, leadership goal, we started a mastermind. You can register um, for the mastermind. Um, up until uh, Saturday. Saturday, the mastermind start at um, 12 p.m. If you want to register for the mastermind, we will put the link in the um, in the description. But then one of the things to register definitely you get um the link what is in the description. That's opportunitywonder.com is the um to register for the community. But 
one thing that John Maxwell say, um, he say, if it's lonely at the top, you're not doing something right. Because a lot of times we're like, oh, man, it's a lonely walk. And when you, when you, at the time, when you, you know, it's a, no, it's not supposed to be. Mm. When you're hiring the right people, when you're having the right people surrounding you, when you having the right community around you, it don't have to be lonely. It's not lonely when you got the right people around you. When you're helping other people achieving their goals, it's not lonely. It's lonely, it, 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 you're doing something wrong if it's lonely at the top. <laughs> Well, well I, I don't know. What you think? Uh, you know, I don't know. Just let me know. I, I, but oh, I, I, that's a bit of a tricky one because, I mean, I don't... I but we I, always said that it's lonely at the time. It depends time, how you look at it. It depends how you look at it. Because, of course, you're not going to have a crowd of friends. You, 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 but, you, no, we're you, not talking about friends. You'd rather have, like, a small circle. No, but guess what? You st it's still not lonely if you got a small circle. Oh. But you're helping every day. You got your team. When you got the right team, you got the right people, your community, you, it's not lonely then. Mm. Why? Because you have your team, you have your, your circle, you have your community. Maybe if you look at it in that way, that's what I'm saying. It depends how you look at it. Because the higher you go, really, there's, there's definitely more haters, I think. No, but it, it, you, who cares about the haters? Mm. You, it, it's the, you, you still got your circle, your community. The people that work with you, yeah. that you talk to, you still got uh, uh, the, the people that surround you, your community, your 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 workers, your 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 your, your leadership, your, all mm -hmm. the things that surrounding you. So it's not you're not lonely because you still having you're still able to go to your executives, your employees, and find out information, mm -hmm. getting to know them better, helping them to achieve their goals. So it's not lonely when you got the people who you're helping each day mm, no, to achieve their goals. That makes sense. I'm sold. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So I, I'm like that was, uh, but that was that was good because a lot of times we always say it's lonely at the and time. And I've said that for such a long time yeah. as well. <laughs> that's how it looks like. That's how it looks how like. Feel sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And so that when, if you feel that you're lonely, that means then you gotta, that mean you in the wrong, you gotta find the right community, you gotta find the right people to surround yourself, who you can learn from and grow from. Mm. You gotta find those individuals, you know, who you can connect with and build off of and like, and have that mutual benefit, mm. you know? And so that, that's the reason why like a lot of times we lonely because it, we have a hard time with trusting people. Yeah. Because people have betrayed us over and over and over and over, and over again. But, you know, and, 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 and thing is, you don't want to look at it like that because you got to be willing to help other people. Remember, uh, mm -hmm. you have more people get what they want, you eventually get what you want. You're going to have those individuals that's going to leech us. Remember, mm -hmm. leech us. Mm -hmm. You're going to have those individuals that just going to then watch on the content. Mm -hmm. Listen, get things for free. You're going to have those type of people. That's okay. Because you're looking for those individuals that want to learn more of what you have. That want to be coached by you. That want to be around you. That want to be associated with you. That want to learn from you. That want to connect with you. You're looking for those individuals who you can connect with. Who you can go further and go deeper and learn from. And they learn it from you. And that's why it's not lonely at the top. Because you're looking for them. You ain't all those people that, that listen and watch and and, 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 and learn and, and, and get it for free, you're gonna have that. We call them leeches. <laughs> we call them leeches. We call them we call them leeches. They want everything free. They don't wanna they don't, they don't wanna help nobody else, but they wanna get what you and the thing is by you having an attitude like that, you will never really grow. You will never see real success. Cause real success is helping other people get what they want. When you help people get what they want, then you will get what you want. You cannot be a leech and, and just 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 suck up all the energy and suck up all the information Blood for suckers. Blood suckers, yeah. <laughs> you get all the information, get everything for yourself, and you don't contribute. You know, so help other people. It's all about helping the people inside the community, helping other people, doing things. And like I said, because if you feel lonely, that means you're doing something wrong. It's not lonely at the time when you got the right people. We'll end it off by saying own it. Right. Own it. <laughs> Own it. it. The leeches. The leeches. The negativity. The negativity. <laughs>
naysayers, people <laughs> who have uh, opinions on you, because people will have opinions. Yes. All those negative things, all those things that don't go with your your goals and your narrative, don't let it get to you. Yes, don't let Just it. Don't let that dictate what you do. Day. Yes. On your, day, on your day, win your day, focus on what you need to do for that day. Live in a moment. Don't worry about what other, other people's opinions on you because they're just opinions. Yes. People are going to talk about you. People are going to hate on you. You know, especially now we're in this coach, this cancer culture. You can't be in here. But when you're on in your day, you're like, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to allow other people's opinions dictate me. Mm. And, the, and this is what we're talking about being vulnerable. When you're vulnerable and people know, okay, I'm human. I'm going to make mistakes. D believe people, other people will also get you grace. Why? Because you are vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you let them know. You're authentic. You, yes, you're authentic. And that's what it's being authentic. Like we are, like when we always discuss, when we started the podcast, we wasn't, the, we, it, it, was, it, it was okay. You know, but I got, we got better and better. As we went on, my speaking improved, the episodes improved. Cause wow, we were that thing to we were just we just giving you we're still content. We're still authentic. We're still against it. Yeah, and we're still improving. But we own it each episode that we put out. We own it our day. We own it the responsibility. We own it everything. And we not allow other people opinions dictate what we do. Even though some people might not like what we do. And they might like they might like might not like a particular episode, but we still own it. Why? Because those people, those little ten people or twenty people that don't like it, but there's other billions of people that will like it. And yes. that's what we do it for. We do it for those people that do like it. And Why? I'll, because we and don't I'll, have I'll like close off by saying, remember this: you are capable of great things. Great things that only you can do. Yes. The world is waiting for you. Yes. So get up. And keep going. Shake it. Shake it. <laughs> shake it off. Get dust, dust, dust it off. Yes. And keep moving. Because. And get it done. Greatness is in you. Absolutely. Greatness is in you. But it's up to you to start winning your day. To live in that moment. Doing what you, what you need to do to achieve your goals. You know, See, it's, I'm it's, winning even today. I, I don't feel that well, but guess what? So the show had to go on, and I, 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 I and you went, and you, and you did a great job. I won. <laughs> yeah. I won at the end. I did you not won. allow the, 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 the weakness, the sickness to get to me. So you do the same. Push, push against all odds. Yes, push against all odds, and win the day. And so we hope in these tips. Uh, help you today to win your day because you can't win. Um, you can't win. And it's up to you to um, make the decision to push through it and win the day. Absolutely. And so, yes. So, we want to say this podcast was sponsored by... Next Opportunity Window. Like I said, this community is a great community where we can come together, learn, grow, and network, you know, where we're able to, uh, you know, engage in the content and learn from others and learn and sharing ideas and um, networking, doing the things we need to do to win our day, you know, through the um, daily themes, through the monthly webinars, the weekly lunch and learns, the quarterly masterminds, which we would, uh, will we be doing um, starting this Saturday, but these different things that we offer allow us to win, help us to win the day, to achieve our goals and to have our success. You know, so we said, come, join the movement, join the community. So if you want to grow, if you want to be a better person, you want to be a better leader, you want to be a better business person, we said join the community. You know, we give you a, a two week trial offer to check it out, try it out, see, you know, if you like it or not, see if if, if, if it piques your interest. And if it, we, we know if it's going to pique your interest. We know the growth you're going to learn when you come in and dive in. We know it. And that's why we give you that um, that two-week trial offer because, you know, the, um, we know 
uh, is there, the value is there. And so once the two weeks trial offer end, you know, we get, um, it's a monthly and yearly subscription. Um, the monthly subscription is $59.99. The yearly subscription is $3.99. And so, yeah, we said come join the movement and um, be a part of us. Be a part of the family. Join, and so that we have to learn and connect with you. Um, as well as we would, we would, the course will be available. It's coming. It's coming. In June, we'll be launching the uh, six-month mentorship boot camp, turn your idea into a sustainable, scalable business from scratch. So if you have an idea, you have a business that you want to start, and you don't know where to start, you don't know how you stuck on starting that business, we said join the waiting list. Um, it is available. The link will be in the description to join the waiting list. Join the waiting list so that um, you can take advantage of the early bird pricing when we release the course. So we just thank you and we said you can follow us. Constantly yes. at Chilling with the Chaplains or you can follow me personally at, at Lady Season 1 on Instagram. Yeah, and you can follow me at Get Inspired by LJ on all channels. Mm -hmm. Or you can listen to us on our audio platforms um, on all podcasts. Podcasts, yes, platforms. platforms and we always say follow us, um, rate us, and leave a review. It does help us. And you can subscribe to the channel. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Yes, hit the notification bell. Uh, and definitely leave comments and, 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 and engage with us. Engage us while we record it. Yes, trust we all, yes, trust and believe we we every comment. Yes, we enjoy the feedbacks. We enjoy the comments. This is how we grow. This is how we learn. And this is how we develop better content every week because of your comments and your reviews. And so we say continue to leave those comments and leaving those reviews and help us to grow the channel and to reach more people. And we thank you for helping us be who we call to be. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> thank you so much, guys. We'll yes. see you We'll soon. see you next week. Take, Take care. care. Bye. Bye-bye. Yo, it's your boy, LJ Chaplin with Lady Season, bringing to you Chillin' with the Chaplains, where we deep dive, giving you practical concepts in ministry, business, relationship, and personal development, so we can take control of our life. Let's go and let's get it started.